hi guys welcome to PC Distro in this video today I'm gonna show you how you can install the SSL certificate on your website make sure this is the new method I'm going to explain on the video on my channel here now the thing is previously when I was down I was installing the SSL certificate through free SSL then it was completely a different process but now it's completely changed so I will show you how you can install free SSL certificate on your website with the help of Jiro SSL website. So first of all, make sure you got your website developed, you got your website up and running. This is my website. You can see it's softwarequalityexpert.online. If I go to this website, you can see here coming up at the left top corner not secure you can see connection is not secure because I don't have the SSL install on this website yet so I will go ahead and install the SSL on this website here so first login into your hosting account either it's with your uh, GoDaddy or with the hostinger or whomsoever it is first of all log into your hosting account then go to the cPanel admin once you go to the cPanel admin make sure guys you already have uh, created the website you already have hosted your website you have done everything with the website and after that this uh, installation will help you to install the uh, SSL on your website so once you click on the cPanel admin it will give you this screen so once I will have this screen I will scroll down and I will find I will search for SSL forward slash TLS so I will click on this option here and once I click on this option it will give me it's giving me different different options here so you can see install and manage SSL for your site so I will click on this which says install SSL sites and uh, once I click on this it will give uh, different different options right so let me scroll down and let me see here first of all I will look for the website where I want to install the SSL so the website is software uh, quality expert this one so you can see here it's a software quality expert dot online so just beside that there are several options coming up uninstall update certificate certificate details and others so I will click on this update certificate now it's asking for CRT alphabets private key and also the CA bundle here right so for that purpose I will go ahead and first open the zero SSL website I will explain you here how you can get those uh, private key and CA bundle and the CRT everything so here I just logged in in my I just logged into the account which is 0 SSL and if you don't have the account with 0 SSL you can create a one you can see you can have the three websites up to 90 days with the free SSL certificate if you want to go for the longer one then you will have to go to the premium one you can see if you go for the one year then you will have to buy one so I will just copy my website URL from here and will click on this new certificate then it will ask me to enter the domain so I will go ahead and paste this domain and will go ahead and click on this next step so here I want the 90 days free SL certificate not the paid one so I will uh, leave it as it is and click on next option then auto generate CSR yes I need that I will click on next option and uh, it's by default has selected here the free plan so yes I want the same one so I will click on this this next step here okay so I don't know why my uh, the page is loading here and it's still loading so 
okay I already have clicked on this next option and it's loading now now you can see your certificate has been uh, created and ready to for the domain verification here right so you can see there are different different options coming up okay. how you can verify your domain oh okay <laughs> CD started talking to me so let me mute her okay now here there are three ways to verify your domain ownership first one is email verification second is DNS C name with that means you will have to uh, change the record of your uh, DNS and the third one is coming up HTTP file upload so I will select the third option now it's clearly giving the instruction here to verify your domain using HTTP file upload please follow the following step so here first I will go ahead and click on this download auth file and we'll go ahead and open this in the folder now it's in here it's starting from 6a and so on now you can see here it's clearly written upload this auth file to your HTTP server under this uh, I mean the directory so what I will do here I will go my go back to my hosting and will go ahead and open this file manager and uh, once I will open this file manager I will look for this folder this directory of software quality expert dot online in my hosting because I already have uh, added this domain to my hosting so the directory is already available this is the reason my website is up and live here now it's coming up here so I will the next step step I will do is to open this public underscore HTML and then I will scroll down and will look for the same website here you can see software quality expert this one so I will open this now I am in the directory of the website now it's saying first create a well dot well dash known folder so I will copy the name from here and I will create a folder with the same name so I just did that and uh, under the same folder it's asking me to open it's asking me to create one more folder which is PKI dash validation so again I will under this folder make sure I will open this I will create another folder with the same name which is PKI dot validation and will go ahead and click on create a new folder and I will again open this PKI dot uh, I'm sorry PKI dash validation and then I will upload the same file I will upload this file here in the same folder so I will click on this upload option and will go ahead and open that download folder again and will drag this file here will oh I'm sorry if it's not dragging then I can upload from here also so it's in my download folder so I will just go ahead and open the downloads and this is the file I have downloaded from the Jiro SSL website and I have just uploaded here you can see after upload is complete I will go ahead and click on this link which is back to the same folder now I'm back to the same folder here you can see the link where I am I have a uh, active I have uploaded the file under the website directory I have created a folder with the name of dot dash well known again in the I have opened up that folder and I created another folder with the name of PKI dash validation and then I have updated uploaded this uh, file here which was downloaded from the website which is 0 SSL make sure these instructions must need to be followed carefully after once I have ac activated once I have uploaded that uh, file which was downloaded from this website in my hosting then in order to make sure that whether 
it's properly done or not I will click on this link and once I will click on this link make sure this alphabet should come up there once I click on that link this alphabet should come up on my uh, on the browser otherwise the steps are not followed properly so the alphabets coming up that means I have done the I have uh, followed the process steps carefully and now I will click on this next step once I click on this next step it will give me option here verify domain I will click on this verify domain now it's verifying the domain now you can see congratulations your domain has been verified this means that our system is using, issuing the certificate at the moment so now it's generating the certificate and I'm waiting for the same so now the certificate is generated here so I will go ahead and click on this download certificate a zip file now it has downloaded here a zip file I will go ahead and open this show in folder and uh, as this is a zip file so I need to extract this file here so I will extract the file if you don't have the WinRAR then you will have to download the WinRAR in order to extract this type of files so once I have extracted I have uh, got another folder here with the name of software quality expert dot online I will open this folder now you can see I have got all the certificates here the private keys certificate and CA bundle so I will first open this private key uh, with I will open this up with my notepad plus plus I think I do have the notepad plus plus if I don't have then in that case I will have to download one because it's not gonna open like this so let's try opening up with this notepad if it will not come up with the notepad then it's okay I will open the yes it's came up here so I'm opening up I'm just doing the copy I just I will just copy the uh, alphabets here of the private key and uh, we'll go ahead and again in this uh, folder I, at the place of the private key I will paste the private key now there are two more which is the CA bundle and the certificate so I, next I will open the certificate and I will again try to open this up with the notepad but I'm I'm not sure it will work with the notepad so let's try here yep it's opening up with the notepad here so I will just select all the alphabets and will copy from here and uh, will paste the certificate here now you can see when when you when I paste the certificate alphabets here then it's showing here the domain which is software quality expert dot online right now then last I need is the CA bundle so I will again make a right click on the CA bundle and now I will open it with the notepad and I will copy the code from here and we'll go ahead and paste in the CA bundle make sure the three field which was required the certificate private key and the CA bundle all done now so I will click on this install certificate and it's installing now here it will now you can see the SSL certificate successfully updated so I will click on this OK option and the SSL is now installed on my website so I will just go ahead and refresh this one and I hope that not secure not secure sign which was coming up before that will not come up and in the next video I will explain how you can redirect your website from HTTP to HTTPS okay it's taking time to open the website here so oh, it's still coming up with the not secure but it's totally fine it may be just because I have not 
redirected my website from HTTP to HTTPS as you can see here uh, if I copy the link from here and if I paste in here now if you will see the link carefully the link is coming up HTTP not HTTPS because I have not redirected my website from HTTP to HTTPS this is the reason it's not showing here uh, the SSL install or not so stay tuned guys watch my next video and the next video I will explain how you can uh, how you can I mean redirect your website from HTTP to HTTPS because this was the SSL part and SSL is successfully installed on my website so thank you so much for watching the video Cheers.